friends welcome back to my channel today's video we are going to be doing just a little bit of cleaning and more decorating for summer and i also have the cutest little diy that i will also be sharing with you in this video if you want to check out the other videos in my summer series i will have the link to the playlist down below One of the ways I like to keep my house smelling clean and fresh is by sprinkling a little carpet deodorizer before I vacuum. My favorite is the clean linen scent. I just sprinkle it all over my carpet and I'll let that sit for at least an hour, but I usually have it sit a bit longer than that while I'm doing some other chores and things around the house. And the scent lingers for days and just makes my house smell so fresh and clean. The other thing I do is keep a few of these Airwick essential oil plugins around the house. My favorite scent is Fresh Waters, and this scent, you guys, is just the best. It's clean, it's crisp, it's not too fruity, and I just cannot get enough of it. So I went ahead and laid out all of my dining room table decor, and I can't wait to see how this all comes together. I found these really cute lemon stems at a store around here called Tuesday Morning and the way that they hang with the lemons is so pretty and I knew they would just be perfect for my tablescape. I'm removing the greenery I have on this light fixture because I think with the lemon stems it would be a bit overkill and I really wanted the focal point of this tablescape to be the stems and I think the greenery hanging up there would just look too much and kind of be distracting. I am just loving the cozy feel that the runner and these placemats are giving my table. Now my life's an adventure. The quality and look of these lemon stems remind me of the Pottery Barn ones, which of course are just ridiculously expensive. And these were marked down, so I only ended up paying around $7 for each of them, which I thought was such a good price. See? 
I'm really liking how this table is coming together, but I did want to go ahead and add a little something that ties in my farm market bee stand theme with a lemon theme that I have going on in my kitchen. So I'll show you what I have planned later in this video. The garland I originally was going to use for the dining room table I thought would look cute draped over my mug rack. I wasn't sure if I should take the basket off or leave it on here, so I'm just going to play around with both ways to see which one I think looks better. I'm also adding this lemon dish towel to my little riser by my sink. Can you tell that I have fully embraced the lemon theme for summer? I thought I would feel overwhelmed by all of this yellow, but I am truly loving it and it just makes me so happy. Gone over this a thousand times before. I am also glad to report that my DIY awning is still intact. The hot glue is really holding up and I just love seeing this little space here every day. Someone said that it would also work for fall, which I hadn't even thought about. So I might have to be bringing this one back when I take my fall decor out. For Mother's Day, I got the frame TV. I love it because when the TV is off, it looks just like a piece of art instead of a black blank screen. And naturally, I chose lemons for my summer art. If you are interested in this TV, I will have a link for it down below. It is so cool. I love it. Our TV was pretty old before, so it was nice to have a little upgrade and have one that actually looks like a piece of decor when it's off. So 
I decided to make mini biscuits to put on each plate on my dining room table. And all you need for this is some jute twine. I got mine from Tractor Supply. I think I paid right around $10 and I got a huge thing of it. I will definitely have plenty to spare after this DIY. You will also need a hot glue gun, plenty of hot glue sticks because you will be using quite a bit, some scissors, and black paint. All right, so to begin, I'm just going to make a loop with the jute and then use hot glue to secure it and this loop will be the very bottom of your b-scap so this step will really determine the size that your b-scap will end up being then you just add hot glue fully around you're going to wrap the jute in a circle as you go and then you're gradually going to narrow in as you go up When I got to the top, I cut my rope and then tucked the end down into the b scap This was great because it also covered the hole that would have been left there if I did not tuck the end in. Then I just took a smaller type of jute and made a little circle and secured it to the b-scap with more hot glue. I wanted it to look like a hole, so that's why we're going to go in and paint directly on the jute with black paint. I just adore how this turned out. I made three more so I would have one for each place on my table. I can't get up alone Too heavy on my own The world is moving on I'm still standing here Searching for steady ground A place to settle down No reasons left to find One day I'll change your mind And it won't come easy But I know it's worth the fight And I will run across the river
and I just think this table turned out awesome. I love that I stepped out of my comfort zone a bit. I usually just do some garland across with some candlesticks, so I'm really happy that I branched out and tried the runner and then also added some placemats. It really makes this area seem very cozy and inviting, and it kind of makes me want to host like a little dinner party or something here soon. I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY. If you end up making this, make sure you follow me on Instagram and tag me. I would love to see how yours turned out. I'm debating making one a little bit bigger for my farm stand area because I have so much leftover jute and this was just such a cute DIY. I want to add more of these around my house. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you are subscribed. I will leave the link to my summer playlist in the description and I hope you guys just have a great day. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys!